Okay, just a quick video on using uh, the Match EQ plugin in Logic Pro. Okay, so the idea of the uh, Match EQ plugin is it enables you to look at a piece of audio or analyze a piece of audio that you quite like the sound of and apply those EQ characteristics to a piece of audio that perhaps isn't quite doing it for you. So in this example, I've got a simple little voice clip um, one sounds fine, nice and crisp, and the other doesn't. So this is the one which it sounds okay. Okay, so this is uh, testing one, two, three, four. So just okay, so that's fine. This one is actually the same recording, but I've just EQ'd it to make it sound really muffled and then bounced it out. Uh, testing one, two, three, four. So I'm just testing this mic. This is. Uh... So in this little example, we're going to try and use match EQ to make this one, which doesn't sound very good, sound more like the one we like up here. So the way you use match EQ is you come to the audio that you want to change and on that track we're going to insert an instance of the match EQ plugin. So come down to EQ and then match EQ and we're working in mono. Now here's the match EQ interface and there are three sort of sections here that it's worth getting your head around. There's current, reference and EQ curve. So current deals or current is to do with the audio that we want to change this bit of audio that we don't like here uh, testing one. reference is the audio that we like and we want to take the characteristics of that and apply it to our current audio that we don't like and then eq curve is going to be the eq that logic applies to try and make that happen okay so what you need to do go to current now Logic needs to analyze first the audio that we don't like, and then it'll need to analyze the audio that we do like. So the current, you could just play the audio in by going to clicking on learn and then okay, so play. <coughs> okay, so this is uh, testing one, two, three, four. So I'm just testing this mic, this is. So we could do it like that, or let's just um, clear that off. Much quicker, you can just, because this is a, um, audio region, we can just grab it and drop it on where it says current. Logic analyzes it, creates the map, and we're done. Same with reference. We could play it in, although because it's on a different track, we'd have to side chain it in. So the one we like is on audio track number one, so we could put our side chain to audio one, and then we could play it in as before, but we can just grab it and drop it on reference. Logic analyzes it, and now we have our current audio analyzed, we have our reference audio analyzed, and now if we go to the third section here, EQ curve. When you hit match, Logic's gonna work out the EQ to apply to the audio that we don't like to make it sound more like the reference audio. So match, and as you would expect, it's um, boosted the highs, cut out a bit of the lows. So let's have a listen, see what it's come up with. Three, four, so I'm just testing this mic, this is, um Okay, so it probably. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, testing one, two, three. Okay, so it sounds loads better. Let's just turn it off without. So I'm just testing this mic. This is. Um... Okay, so it probably. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, testing one, and then with... two, three, four. So I'm just testing this mic. This is. The curves that uh, Logic comes up with, you can increase them here, or you can minimize them a bit to match it even more. And also it's worth just playing around with the actual amplitude, the actual gain um, volume level of each clip to make sure they're actually matched as well. Because if one's different, then they're always going to sound different to your ear. Anyway, that's a very quick look at Match EQ in Logic Pro. Thanks for watching.